Okay, so it takes Marco and Julie. Uh, it's going to take them two hours to do one job. All right, and it's going to take, let's go back over here. Let's go to uh, George and Sarah. How long does it take them? George and Sarah, it takes six hours to complete the same one job. How many hours would it take all four of them working to complete eight jobs? All right, so what I do for these is I'm going to keep scaling this up until I kind of have a feel for what's happening. So for MJ, uh, four hours, they can do two jobs. For six hours, they can do three jobs. Uh, for eight hours, they could do four jobs. Okay, and I'm going to try scaling this one up too as well. All right, for them, actually, I think I have, I, you know, I already have uh, the tools necessary uh, to solve this one based on what we have here. So in 12 hours, they can do two jobs. And then in 18 hours, they can do three jobs. So the trick is this morning, one. Brett. Morning. Uh, it's that line and the first line over here. Oh, gosh. All right. All right. I'm going to write this down on paper to show you here. Okay, cool. So yeah, what I, what I always try to do is I try to like, I guess, come up with a least common multiple. Uh, I think it can be done with the jobs as well. Probably no, probably not. I, I need to look for a least common multiple with the, the hours part. That's what I'm doing. I, I just kind of do it until it makes sense. And hopefully this part will make sense what I'm about to say. So MJ in six hours, they can complete three jobs. George and Sarah with six hours can do one job. So that means combined total, right? If we were combining the two, that means in six hours, so the same six hours that they worked, hopefully you see this, they could do four jobs. They could do four of the same job. Now, if we wanted to know, uh, if we wanted to scale this up, we could say in 12 hours, they do eight jobs. And I think that's the, the question that we were asked. Yep. So to do eight jobs, it would take them 12 hours working together. All right. Uh, if you just, if you just wanted to know uh, from this, how long it would take them to do uh, one job, what you could do is divide this equation by four. If you divide by four, that would give you six divided by four is equal to one job, however many hours that is. But that's all we needed was the 12 hours and eight jobs.